fancy masterpiece right here on 105 through the fan. And now it's time for some masterpiece of the week. She said, list, list this. Hey, before we get to this real oh, quick, dear. I did want to say this, Kevin. I don't think you said this part. This is my favorite part of the Garrett Mitchell story. His wife. Did you see what she oh, tweeted no, what back? Oh, what did she say? She tweeted back, he won't say that to my face. Oh, <laughs> a stadium full of people. Yes. I just, one somebody, on one? No chance. Somebody on the fan tech said that. I remember seeing that and that showed Adrian. She thought it was hilarious. That is amazing. Because we love each other. Gross. gross. I say that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Love is gross. Oh, I say that too. Sometimes Jess will be like, because we're in love. And I'll be like, gross. <laughs> She's right. You married her. I know. And I adore her and love her, which is gross. You, you get it. You see what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Still a third oh, grader? I say stuff like that about myself all the time, too. <laughs> Back to you, Alec. You know what else is gross is this week's edition of Masterpiece of the Week, where uh -oh. we revisit some of the wild, wacky, and fun things that were said on this very program. And we are going to start with something gross from Mike. I love it. Your face, Mike. Is I, I love that. Oh, yeah. awesome. Well, That's congratulations. Great. So if you put it in my face with that much like good stuff, uh -huh. what? I'm for you. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I want it noted that I objected to this while it was happening. That, yeah, with enough <laughs> good stuff. I don't know what that means. How? What's uh, what's yeah. the percent chance? that Mike knew what we were talking about in that moment. 40%. Okay. <laughs> he just can't, was like, I'm going to say something. I can't say. I think Mike <laughs> has some like go-tos that he's like, I don't know like what we're talking about, but I can go to this and it'll work. Hold on. <laughs> I'll get right back to you in just a second, Alec. For the 806, there are no band concerts on Easter weekend. That dude got played. Not cool, people. <laughs> I do not know that to be the case. I want to make that very clear. All right, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I just love this part from Corey at the end. Thanks, Mike. Uh, just, <laughs> I'm glad you like You're it. You're so polite. <laughs> I know. That was so polite. And uh, Corey, we're going to go back to you because uh, this is also kind of gross. I grabbed that thing, all that meat, and we're walking. It's okay. got a handle on it, dude. Hold on. See? That was... Uh, the sandwich, right? Yeah, the there was burger. bread, too. Yeah. I, I guess I should have said the bread part, and it wouldn't have been so gross. Yeah. But that was a huge burger. Shout out to Eric for getting work done. Having all that meat in his tummy. That is a lot. And bread. Like Phil Collins. Because even there's more meat. Or no, I'm sorry. Rod Stewart. My bad. There's <laughs> what is going on? Dude. You don't think Rod Stewart likes a good hamburger? Everybody likes a good hamburger. They're delicious. But in, in, in addition to his... <laughs> don't look at me like that. Stop looking at me like that! <laughs> Next one. I had a point, but I can't do it. Okay, this one. I was actually wandering around the studios and heard this live, and I had to replay this. Tolos, let's talk about trucks and Texas. They go to they go together, and I'm starting over. I'm, that like sentence. trucks in Texas? Yeah. We're starting over. This is the last day, so deal with it. Uh, okay. <laughs> The last it was the last day for Mike before he goes on vacation. <laughs> what you can't hear over Mike is I was sitting right across from Mike. And when he said that, I go, uh-oh. <laughs> because I knew it was supposed to be like trucks in Texas. And I was like, he's got nowhere to go now. <sighs> oh, man, that might be my favorite. That was too good. Um, I believe you gentlemen had Derek Holland on this week, I believe on Wednesday. And and uh, Derek said this. We can sit and cover that all day. If he comes inside, let's see if he, he gets in there enough and we'll be able to to react to it. But <sighs> I did, wow. did you guys react to it? I hope that was about Derek. baseball. I'm proud of Derek. myself. I thought about that when it happened only in a baseball context until Corey told me what he <laughs> said. And I was like, oh, dear, that's <laughs> not what you want. I can think about many things at one time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So when people are like, oh, you're so childish for giggling at that. Mm -hmm. I'm also an adult at times. It's okay, all the time. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. This one kind of plays into the clip that I just played from Derek in a oh weird God. way. Oh if, you if you think about it. It's, it's, it's a totally different thing than giving it to me on a sheet of paper <laughs> or seeing it on video. <laughs> you think VHS is the, what he's talking about there? Because that's Gotta be. that was the beginning Man, of it all for let me, us. Let me tell you something real quick. Uh, you've never seen panic on a person's face until 
you saw the person come up to Blockbuster Video, and they were like, hey, I think I might have dropped off the wrong tape. And it was a nondescript <laughs> blank videotape in, you know, talented Mr. Ripley or whatever it was. Because you know, you know that was a porn and maybe one that they made. <sighs> and they were like, oh, yeah, here you Oh, thank God. It was not the sigh of a person who just needed to not be charged that money. I broke my parents' VH VCR the first time I ever got a VHS. My buddy was like, hey, try this one out. And I get home and I'm like, all right, let's see what this is all about. This is awesome. And then, you know, you're like, hey, I want to rewind just a little bit. Go check this out. And then you hit rewind and all of a sudden you're like, what's that sound? And then you pull the, the tape out yeah. and it's just everywhere. And you're like, what is happening? Okay. And then you're like, parents are going to be home soon. What do I do? Let me ask you this. Much like a cassette tape, like an audio cassette tape. Did you think somehow you could roll it back up together? <laughs> that's what I always thought. I, I was like, I could fix this. I don't know how. It's all bent I up and everything. This. It's chewed. It's like, oh my gosh, this is bad. And then what do you do? You're like to your friend. You're like, hey, here, here's that thing you let me borrow. And yeah. he's like, you ruined it. Well, you had to expect that was going to happen. I've got a couple more. Uh, Jared, also gross. Uh, and the way to combat that is to pound him inside. You back him off a little bit. You gotta come up with better terms, guys. That's a great way to back them off. <laughs> Did sports terms lean into sexuality, or was that just co-opted by childish people like us? I every time the Olympics is on, if you listen to like the swimming or whatever, man, it is an overdose of like innuendo. Just I'm serious. Next when are the Olympics around? When's the next Olympics? <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody, see, no, nobody I just, knows. I just like, when's the next Olympics coming around? <laughs> it's, you, I'm telling you, it is an overdose. Oh, man. Last one here. Uh, there's a lot going on here. This one, uh, Willy Wonka references and oh, stuff. Uh, I, I don't really know. And, and they're wheeling the purple girl around. So when, and they took the purple girl to the squeezing room. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me? You squeeze all the juice out okay. of her. That's my winner. That's a lawsuit. <laughs> all right. You can't take, you can't tell me that even if that girl is okay after the weird Oompa Loompa people squeeze everything out of her, you can't tell me that's not a lawsuit. That's 100% a lawsuit. That's my favorite one. By the, it's like the purple girl. Where'd that come from? By the way, Carter, I did not Squeezing fact check this at all. I just told Brandon what you said the Willy Wonka sequel is. I didn't fact check it yet. He says he does not believe you that that is Dude, accurate and you just made it up. I posted it on the Twitch page yesterday. I said, by the way, I know we all don't like Carter, but I like uh, Carter. Uh, but and then they started defending him, which I thought was weird because he's the one that's always making rules for him. Oh. But I said, uh, I said, I know we don't all like Carter, but he just told us about this sequel. And everybody was like, yeah, it's Willy Wonka in the glass elevator. And I was like, so everybody knows this already. And now wow. I feel stupid, Kevin. Thanks a lot. That is crazy. Uh, that's your vote. Play it again. <laughs> I want to hear it. Okay. And, and they're wheeling the purple girl around. So when and they took the purple girl to the squeezing room. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me? <laughs> Squeeze all the juice okay. out of her. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it sounds. And what's weird, like that's I don't know. to the random person that might sound like a <laughs> odd conversation, right? Sure. But to us, that's completely normal. <laughs> and if you were listening in the context of Willy Wonka, it probably made sense. I'm obviously going to vote for Mike in the commercial because I saw it play out. I saw the look in his face when he was like, oh, no, this has all gone terribly wrong. I vote for Mike's commercial. I love the ending. We're starting over. This is the last day, so deal with it. Yeah, there's a fun fact about Mike. Mike thinks whatever his schedule is, is everybody's schedule. So it was the last day before he went on vacation. He's like, no, this show does not exist the next two days. All right, Alec, we have a tie. Oh man, a position of power. I gotta go with the Willy Wonka scene. Nice. There it is. That's the I, winner. I just right. love the inflection on the squeezing room. <laughs> so Play it again. Wrong. And they're wheeling the purple girl around. So when and they took the purple girl to the squeezing room. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me? I squeeze all the juice okay. out of her. Okay. Sounds like one of those VHS tapes you were just talking oh, about. Oh my goodness. Now I understand why people. Kids are to out of show. school today. My goodness. I understand why we're so good. I'm sorry.
this person got mad because they're like, I thought yesterday was the worst broadcast. And I just said, worst. Well, the KNC Masterpiece right here on 105.3 The Fan.